I'm here with the one and only Mazoo's own Nichelle right. Turner, the host of Entertainment Tonight. Nichelle Turner, somewhere in this world. But we'll say I'm the one and only just because. Yes, that's what we're going to say here today because that's what you are. You've done an extravagant job on Entertainment Tonight. Being, and what is that like just being the first black woman host of Entertainment Tonight? That's such, such an iconic brand. I mean, it's a lot. It, it, and it's, you know, when you say that, it's kind of hard to wrap your brain around. But um, I don't take that lightly, you know, and, and I, I stand on the shoulders of some amazing women and I just hope to be another piece of that puzzle for someone coming behind me you know it, it not only am I the first you know black female host Kevin Frazier my co-host we are the first black team to head this show we're going into our 30, 41st season on Monday and we are so hyped and so excited uh, we've been naming it chocolate summer and it is indeed about chocolate summer it's about to be a chocolate fall and you know it's just really wonderful because not only are we representing but America America, all of America has said we see you we like you and it's not just black folks it's everyone so it's self-affirming to me to know that if that because I was a little afraid like are they gonna be able to accept you know a black female host are they gonna be able to accept two black hosts so many people have said to me I already thought you were the host what are you talking about so I really have gotten a lot of affirmations through this but it means a lot and I you know I'm here to represent I'm happy about it I'm certainly happy about it you do a terrific job you should be what does it mean when you got honored by someone like Oprah Winfrey and Gail King what did that me what was going through your mind at that moment what do you think it meant <laughs> i need to know what's going through your mind well you know it just kind of goes blank i mean ms winfrey has been a supporter of mine for a really long time and she's just been wonderful and so um just to get an affirmation from her i mean she sent me this huge bouquet of beautiful flowers and the note said you know stop and smell the roses literally and figuratively and basically she was saying this is a moment for you appreciate this moment own this moment sit in that chair it's yours you're in the driver's seat now and just show everybody who you are so that meant everything to me for her to take the time and you know to been to pour into me throughout these years as she does and Gail as well I mean Gail has been such a, a light to me every time I reach out to her anytime I have a question she's always there just for a listening ear and that for a woman like me means everything I'm a, I'm a black girl that grew up on a pig farm in Columbia Missouri I'm not supposed to be here, you know, so to have these women see something in me and to say we see you sis We appreciate you. Welcome to the club. I mean, you can't beat that, you Absolutely. Can't beat that. Lastly, what does it mean? How imperative is it what in today's society and just in general for black media and black owned media to have their voice be heard? It's everything. It's absolutely everything. I mean, no one tells our stories like we do. And our stories count. Our stories matter. And, you know, for us to have real estate in this in the landscape of television we have to have representation by black media we just do you know and I think that you know society is starting to see that more it's a shame that for so long black media has been at the bottom of the red carpet and the last stop for people but I think when people like Halle Berry when you see her you know saying no I have to recognize my sister, I have to recognize my people, I have to stop then and you know you see the importance and listen there we have been represented by, you know, the Ebony's, the Essences, the, you know, those for so long and they've never really gotten the recognition they deserve. So now, you know, when we have an influx of people with their ears more open to these conversations, then we have to make sure that black media has their spot as well. Well, you know what? Well said. Thank you so much for all that you do. And we're definitely looking forward to that 41st season of Entertainment Tonight. Well, it starts on Monday. We're ready. Tune in for sure.